Look, there's nobody who knows more about how to deal with getting ready for big tournaments than you. I mean, Justin Rose won the Olympics. I mean, Henrik Stenson. Uh, so let's I've we've been got around. you certainly have an, an, an so so good. Uh, let's talk about rituals. Let's go there first of all. Yeah. Good players have rituals. Why do they have rituals? Rituals, Martin. I learned this line a long time ago. Rituals create results. Rituals produce results. Yes. What do you mean by rituals? Rituals. So. All good players in, in all sports, right? They, when, once they get prepared to play a tournament or an event, they are very specific and detailed about what they do, and they very rarely change from that. You know? And one of the rituals that tour players have is they are very good at knowing when to eat, what to eat, what to drink, and when to drink. Well, okay. let, let's just talk about that. I mean, let's start with the drink. Let's talk about hydration. Mm. Some people think it's fairly important. Some people would rather have a soda. Um, the science. You're a doctor. Okay. The science between <coughs> hydration. What should we drink and when to drink it? Okay. Let me give you one fact. Yes. Okay. 2% dehydration, which is you won't even feel that. You won't even feel thirsty. 2% dehydration is 20% drop in athletic performance. Wow. That's why you cannot afford to get dehydrated, right? So the ritual for, uh, for those of you at home, the ritual should be you want to hydrate before you play how, how long and after you play. How long so before? Dr when you're driving to the golf course, it's the easiest to do. get a bottle of water, take the cap off, drink it. Right. Before you get the golf course. And then once you start playing golf, this is a very simple trick. You wanna, can, you, can you get a close up of this? So this is your scorecard, right? Right. Mark on the scorecard three holes where you're going to make sure you drink the water. That way you don't forget. So let's say it's hole number three, hole number six, and hole number eight. And you are going to drink, say, half a bottle of water for each one of that. Ideally, the number is you want to drink your whatever you weigh in pounds, you want to drink half of that during a round of golf. Wow. So if you are 200 pounds, you want to drink 100 ounces of water during a round of golf, and you divide that like this. And then say in the back nine, you do the same. You say, you know, hole number 11, hole number 15, and hole number 17. That way, it's scheduled, and you're not going to forget. Okay, let's talk. So that's fascinating. Did not know that. Let's talk about what we drink. You've got uh, so a little tumbler there. The e what I would say is you want to drink things. Water is the best thing to drink out there, right? Now... If for golf, as long as it's not too hot, you don't really need to add electrolytes. If you wanted to, you can add a little bit to it. You know, so a typical sports drink, you want to dilute it down with water, but primarily stick with water, mineral water. Okay, yeah. now, so food, we need some sort of nutrition to keep the energy up while we're playing. All the pros are doing this, aren't they? Yes. So this is, I mean, this is a shaker that m in most tour players' bags, in the Ryder Cup, almost every single one of them had one of these, right? The question is, what goes in here? So one of your jobs, if you're serious about golf, is to figure out what's going to go in here. Okay? And the way to pick this is to look at it w in two ways. One is, it needs to provide you enough calories and energy. So you want to drink something that's going to give you about 400 calories to last you for a run of golf. But secondly, you don't want it to be anything that's going to spike your blood sugar. And the reason I say that is when your blood sugar goes up, it has to come down. And that yo-yo that in the blood sugar is going to affect your mood, how well you think, and your energy levels. And you don't want that. You want it to be stable. So they are very, very, very fussy about what goes in here and so should everybody who's serious about that.